channel if you are new here welcome my name is betsy make sure you hit that subscribe button below okay i hope that you guys subscribed as you can see from the title, I'm doing a pretty little thing clothing haul and I have done one of these or two of these on my channel before so y'all already know the deal. I'm going to try on everything and tell you what I think about it on the left or right hand side. I actually interacted with my subscribers and followers on Instagram for this because I didn't know if I wanted to do a talk through haul or um you know stay the way i've been doing them and have um one side of me modeling the outfit and then the other side is me talking about it or how i feel about it most people vote for side by side so that's what i'm going to continue to do i got a lot of stuff i got a lot of stuff for fall and it's more so cozy cute type of stuff like it's not like you know fancy schmancy things i just got things for the fall because i really needed like sweats and um tops and stuff like that so that's what this haul consists of so just a fyi in case you weren't looking forward to like a fall haul i just got a bunch of cozy cute stuff which i love because i love being cozy and cute at the same time i have already tried these clothes on because i filmed this haul the other day like two days ago and i ended up not liking how it came out and you know i need my content to be a1 so without further ado let's get into the video so i wanted to start with my favorite item of the haul i was gonna save the best for last but i'm just a little excited it's this two-piece set which looks like this this is the top and um it's a cropped sweater as you can see and it just zips up it's really cozy and it's tight i like how snug it fits just because um it it's like a sweatsuit but it's still like form fitting so you get the best of both worlds it's really cozy the only thing that i don't really like about it is that the back says pretty little thing and like little diamondy things like jewels and i don't know how i feel about that but i don't really think i like it because i'm not a big like logo junkie like i don't like when people have to wear um brands and have like their names splattered across like i don't really care for that so i didn't really like that that said that but because it's very subtle like you can't see it really unless you're staring me down um so that's why i didn't really care and i decided to order it anyway it has two little drawstrings right here and a hood i love sets that actually have a hood on them so i really appreciate that and also i love gray like look at what i'm wearing yeah these are the pants and y'all the pants have it too i'm not gonna lie but it's okay because like i said it doesn't show that much like you probably can't really tell from here it's only when you get really close another thing is that i don't like about the set is that it's very dust not dusty but like the the fabric comes off like there's all these flurries and fuzzies like i don't really like that because it makes me feel like when i put it in the washing machine material is probably not gonna hold up so i don't yeah i don't like that that's not a good sign but we will see what happens um other than that i think it is so cute um perfect for the fall so next i have something that i actually do not like at all <laughs> and that is this dress it's supposed to be a marble like it's supposed to give you like a marble feel but honestly the reason i hate it is because it just looks so cheap like it just looks like they printed design onto the dress it doesn't seem like it was like stitched and sewn it's like airbrush it's just not what i expected it to be but then again you guys know that i suck at looking at um fabric online and like detail so honestly i don't remember looking at the fabric i was just like oh that's cute and i put it in my cart so yeah, that's this is a no for me. I'm probably gonna like give it away or something because I'm just can't see myself wearing this. It probably doesn't even look cheap um, by video, but I swear this this dress is just is just it's giving cheap vibes and 
We love pretty little thing, but we don't want to wear nothing that looks cheap, okay? No. Mm -mm. So let's move on to the next item. I'm about to show y'all all of the tops that I got. And I got a bunch of white crop tops just because I feel like you can never have too many white shirts. Like white shirts just get dirty so fast and dingy and like I just feel like I don't have enough of them. This is one of them. I'm not actually putting this one on which is why you don't see me modeling it because I decided that I didn't want to put this one on because as you could see I got makeup on it. I didn't know how tight the shirt was. Y'all, if y'all gonna get this shirt, it's a nice shirt, right? Don't get me wrong, it's comfy and stuff, but it's super tight. Like, and I got my my true size. This is a size two. And it should fit me, but it feels tight, and you have to account for if you're going to wear a bra or not. But it's the same shirt, and I decided to put the gray one on because I was smarter this time, and I got it over my head before I did all of this. So that's what I did differently. So I would just say size, like two sizes up to be honest. It's just really tight and if you have like good size boobs, I would just say do, do two sizes up. If you're like more on the flatter side, which I am too, but my bra is still like making this super tight. So I would just say size up wherever you feel comfortable. You can dress these up and down, like you can wear this with anything. And I'm praying that this makeup stain is going to come out of the shirt or I'll be just heartbroken. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, so next I have this white shirt. This is an asymmetrical neckline, which I really love because I feel like the shirt is still very modest, but it still gets sexy. You're not showing cleavage, you're not showing too much. You're still showing skin, but it's just a very modest feel and I love that a lot. Also, um, well here it's like coming out, so I don't really like that, but I mean it was a it was a cheap shirt, so let's not let's not like get too deep into quality, but yeah, it is coming apart, so I don't really like that. But, um, I love the material. It's very stretchy. It is like slinky material. I'll actually insert a picture of me wearing it um, in my last vlog when I went to New York. I'm pretty sure you guys saw my outfit. I was wearing this shirt with a pair of sweatpants that are also in this haul. So, yeah, let's move on to the next item. I just feel like you need white tops. Like, you can never have too many. But this one is like one of my faves. I love, love, love the square neckline. I think that is just so freaking cute. Like I think it is just so like, it's like so fancy. It's also the same material as the last shirt that I just showed you guys. But it's a little bit thicker in the middle area. Like not on the sleeves, but everywhere else it's like thicker. And I think that's because of the neckline so it doesn't fall or like slouch. Um, so I really appreciate that. You could wear this with sweats and it would still look cute. And you can wear this with a pair of jeans and some heels and you would still look cute. It's very versatile in terms of how you can wear it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Like, I want to know what y'all think about all the pieces. So just let me know. So at least this shirt isn't white. I love, 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 love this shirt, guys. But it's... Obviously, I'm having a wardrobe malfunction with it. Like, we're just really having difficulties with this shirt. It's just not covering one side. I feel like the knot is uneven and it's more material on one side than the other. And I try with all my might to pull on the to knot to try to get it unloose to pull to tie it back up like the right way. It just isn't coming loose and. It sucks because it's such a cute shirt and I can't wear it unless I like tape it down with all this fashion tape or something. I'm just going to have to figure out how I can wear it. But like that really disappointed me because this was such a cute shirt. This angelic trend is really um, in style right now and I'm, I'm here for it. This is my first like clothing item with that print on it. I don't know how I'm going to wear it yet but like... Let me know what y'all think. So a lot of slinky, spandexy material, but I like that material because it's really stretchy. So next up we have these pants. These are the pants that I also was talking about that I wore in New York. They are super cute. 
The bottoms are like joggers. I really like that they cuff and get tight at the bottom. I'm here for the um, tie-dye trend. Like, I love tie-dye. This isn't my first haul with a tie-dye item in it. So, you guys already know I'm here for the tie-dye. But, yeah, these were just like statement sweats. And I just had to get them. Like, I'm probably not going to be able to wear them a lot of times. Just because they're such, like, out there. I actually got these in an extra small. Yeah, US zero. I ended up getting it in a zero because that's the only size they had. And I was like, come on, sweatpants are stretchy. Like, they'll fit me. So I got them and they do fit. I'm not going to lie, I could have put a size up, but they're not like tight or something. Like, I look bad or anything like that. So I could go get away with the extra small for sure. And they still feel baggy. They still look baggy, as you can see. So, yeah. I have another pair of sweatpants and they are these PLT sweatpants. I love the little logo on the side and like I said I'm not a logo type of person. I really don't like when my clothes say anything. I just want them to be plain. But I really actually love this um, logo for some reason. It just looks really cute. They're super baggy which I like. They're not super baggy like to the point that it looks ugly and you don't have any form or like shape to yourself. It's still there, still there. <laughs> like you're not completely flat pillow butt, like diaper butt or whatever, so yeah. But yeah, the bottoms are stretchy. But the only bad thing to them is that the pockets are non-existent. Like they're so small, they don't go deep enough. If you put anything in there, you're setting yourself up to lose it. So you can't even be mad at anybody but yourself if you decide to put something in these pockets because they're not there okay <laughs> but um yeah that's the only downside to them besides that they are so comfy and i actually got them in another color that i will be showing you guys next so these are the next pair of sweatpants that i got and the last pair i got these are super cute these are taupe like a taupe color and i love 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 this color for the fall especially it just it's just the cutest color to me especially on brown skin so I love these um, sweatpants. They're the same exact ones as the last ones I just showed, except they're taupe. But I also got these in a size, I got these in a size small, and they fit really good. I like the way they fit, and they're definitely comfortable. I can see myself making this like an everyday sweat, like, like wearing these with, obviously not everyday, but like wearing these on a regular, just throw a flannel on top with some sneakers, Definitely could wear that as a day outfit. Love these sweats. They're so comfy. Okay, so last but not least, speaking of flannels, I got a flannel. Of course, I had to get a flannel. I love, love, love this flannel, y'all. Like, do you see this flannel? It's so oversized. First of all, I love all things oversized. Like, I just like to be comfortable, which I think a lot of us like I think everyone loves to be comfortable so that's why I love the fall like I just want the fall let me see what it says oh actually it only comes in one size that was that was the thing that was the thing it's one of those flannels that's gonna become like your old favorite flannel that you just throw on the material is like it's very good quality I'm not gonna lie like the material I don't know if you guys can tell but it's super like woolish like it's not thick but it's heavy like it's heavy but it's not super thick and it's not like super hot like you won't get super hot in it but it's just right i thought i was scared that i was gonna come and be like a thin super thin flannel like they be trying to play you when you buy flannels online you gotta pay attention because you gotta zoom into those pictures like is that flannel thin because i was looking at it like this better not come back Thin as paper, because I will be highly upset. Speaking of thin flannels, way, way back in the day, I had a thin ass flannel from Abercrombie and Fitch. This was when Abercrombie and Fitch was like the store to shop at. I don't forget what I was in middle school, but I got this flannel. When I tell you it was paper thin that I caught it on something the first day I got it and it ripped. Like, my mom wanted to kill me because that flannel was so expensive for no reason. Pretty Little Thing got some good quality flannels and I'm definitely here for it, mamas. 
Okay guys, so I know I'm on a different shirt. It's because I actually changed and I forgot to put something else in my haul that I got. It's probably because I don't like it. So I got this bag, okay? And I thought it was going to come way smaller. Like, I thought it was going to be one of those small, you know those trendy square bags that people are wearing now? I thought this was what the bag was going to look like. It came back looking like a whole bucket, bro. I didn't even take the stuff out of it. I really just hate the bag. People have told me they liked it. I just, I can't, I can't get, get with it. Like, it's just... It reminds me of a bucket. Like, I just feel would feel like I'm holding a bucket. Like, I just feel like I have a bucket of supplies. Like, like what? Like, this is just not cute to me. And it just, mm, it's an open me pretty little thing. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's giving me mad bucket vibes. Like, I can almost fit my head in here. Like, maybe it's this that's just throwing me off. Like, maybe it should be shorter. Like, I don't know, but it's it looks like good quality. I don't know if you guys can pick up the detail, but it looks like good quality. It's just not cute. It's just big and bulky. Like, like it's just... This isn't even a rectangle. This is like giving octagon vibes. Like... And I don't like it, so I'll probably also be giving this away as well. So, yeah. I'm not even going to model this one for y'all because it's just like, like I'm not modeling this. I don't feel cute in it. So girlies, that concludes this video. I hope that you guys got some insight on fall fit. And I just want to know what you guys think. Let me know what your opinions are in the description box below. For the most part, I believe I'm a two in everything that I purchase. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you made it this far into the video and you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It means the most and helps me out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching again. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!